Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a little bit more serious. I'm going to be talking to you about my compulsive disorder, trichotillomania. So from the age of eight was when my mum discovered that I was picking out my eyelashes and it became something that to start with, a habit and then I ended up just doing it and I do it now, I still do it now, I still haven't stopped. It originally started when I was eight and a friend of ours said to me that if you pick out an eyelash, um, make a wish it'll come true so an eight-year-old girl it's like a fairy tale come true isn't it it's like you make all these wishes are going to come true and then um, in recent years like the last kind of three years i'd seen like a psychologist uh, who specializes in trichomania and uh, the story goes deeper than just picking out an eyelash and making a wish so i had a couple of sessions and it kind of sort of they take it all the way back to when you were younger in your childhood and any upsets and how it is that trichotillomania could have come about because it's a compulsive disorder but they say it always stems from something and in my case when I was younger my dad went to prison so it all made sense after this session because what he said was I was picking out an eyelash and making a wish for my dad to come home and then as a little girl then I kept doing it because obviously I missed my dad and I wanted him to come home and that is how the compulsive disorder started. Now I'm an adult and I'm grown up I could and I know that that's not going to happen and it's that's like just a fairy tale but it's now gone so far that it is a compulsive disorder now and it's so hard to to stop like people watching this video that have it or know or a friend or family that have it you know it's something that you can't just stop overnight when I was about what, um, how old was I? 13 maybe? I lived in Spain with my family. My mum took me to a psychologist and she laid me down and spoke to my subconscious to um, help me to stop picking them out because I actually pick my lashes out in my sleep so I don't even do it consciously in the daytime anymore. It's like a habit that I do in my sleep. They actually all grew back, all my lashes grew back and it was amazing. And then a couple of months after, I started picking them out again. So the sessions didn't really work for me and nothing up until now really has. Um, when I was younger, my mum took me to the doctors and like he said, yeah, this is trichotillomania, I know it's fairly common. People pull out their hair or their eyebrows. In my case, I do my lashes. Um, and he said that, you know, we tried everything. Like when I was younger, my mum would put like mittens on my hands and we'd go to sleep. Um, I'd done that, you know, that like really disgusting stuff you put your finger in when you're younger so you don't bite your nails. I'd done that so it would like sting. I just tried everything, but nothing worked. I, I do have it under control now. Um, I mean, to me now, it's, it's, I like the feeling of it because people say to me, oh, doesn't that hurt? But it's like a comfort. So I've addressed when I was younger and how it started and I'm older now and I can, I can deal with it. But it kind of, I don't know, it's, to me now it's like a comfort thing. I'm still doing it, so I, I, I can't really say I've got it under control. When I was diagnosed and they said, this is like a compulsive disorder, it's called trichotillomania. I think I was too young for it to be a thing. So, and my mum was really supportive and didn't want to make it something bigger than what it was. But I would be really conscious. Like when I was at school, um, before my lashes, obviously I couldn't wear makeup because I was too young. Um, I used to, like my eye contact wasn't, you know, and I was, I was a really confident sort of loud kid, like always, it's always been. But there was a stage where I think when you're going into senior school and you want to look nicer and you want to, you know, be confident, which I was, but I, inside I felt like I couldn't properly look people in the eye because I was worried that someone was going to say, you haven't got any eyelashes. And it's mad because now, I, like, I don't even, if someone said to me, I'll just tell them my story, I'm like, no, I can't believe I still do it. But when you're younger, you deal with it so differently, like I didn't exactly know how to cope with it then and I, I felt like people were looking at me like I was weird and I was strange. I've always always spoken to my mum and my sister and we always had like an amazing, I've always had someone to talk to so that's always, I'd say that's how I coped. But my closest friends in school later on in school found out and I explained to them what it was and as the years went on I just got, it just got easier and easier for me to talk about but initially I, I did find it really hard. I mean my advice would be that speaking from my own experience that you know you're not you're not the only one with an insecurity, you're not the only one with something, No, like nobody's perfect. Um, and I found that it really helps talking to the closest people to you. And I had my mum and my sister and we would talk about it and you know, even my sister and I would make jokes and make light of it. I, I think talking 
will always help and always kind of try to make light of the situation instead of kind of being, you know, upset about it. And then when we got to, how old was we? Maybe 14, I discovered eyelashes and I, I honestly think that I was the first person in like my whole year group um, in Essex at the time for the first person to discover them and wear them and then I would find like really natural ones I would cut them all up to the shape of my eyes and, and then I just I was I couldn't believe you how over the moon I was when I found eyelashes like false ones to put on because it was like wow like everyone's gonna think now I've got eyelashes and then I've just worn them ever since uh, hence why I have my own range of eyelashes because it means so much to me and I've all, like, just always worn them forever. Just embrace your insecurities. I did it and you know, don't be scared to talk to somebody or ask for help because it really, really does help. You know, talk to a friend or a family member and just, you know, open up and it really, really does help. You know, we all, no one's perfect. We all have something. We all have an insecurity and um, trichlomania is mine and that's me and you know, I am who I am. If you're confident enough, please leave your comments below on any insecurities that you do have because I would love to know how you're coping with them. If you enjoyed this video and you'd like to see more like this, please leave me a like and subscribe. Thanks guys, I'll see you next week, bye.